Hey, 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 it's story time with Miss J. Hey, 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 it's story time with Miss J. I'm excited to read this book with you. Let's click the button and get started. Our Skin, A First Conversation About Race by Megan Madison, Jessica Raleigh, and Isabel Rojas. Young children notice a lot, including skin color, race, and even injustice and racism. It can be hard to find the right words to answer their questions or to start a conversation about race. But when we don't talk about it, children often come to their own conclusions, which can include bias and stereotypes because of the world we live in. Simple conversations can help them make sense of their world and even recognize and speak up about injustice. This book is a good place to start or continue the conversation. It's okay to take a break or leave something out for now or weave in stories of your own. Megan and Jessica. Our Skin, a first conversation about race. We all have skin. It comes in different colors. What color is your skin? Mine is like a chocolatey brown. We see different skin colors at the playground, at the grocery store, and on TV. What skin colors do you see? I see a lot in this picture. Our friends have different skin tones. So do the people in our family. What about in your family? My family has a lot of different skin tones. Some people are a chocolatey brown like me, and some people are more like cocoa butter. Our skin is beautiful, strong, and important just the way it is. What do you love about your skin? I love the color of my skin. We get our color from something smart in our bodies called melanin. It protects our skin from the sun. You have melanin too. We all do. And everybody has just the right amount of melanin for them. The darker your skin, the more melanin you have. And the lighter your skin, the less melanin you have. Melanin makes our skin many beautiful shades from dark to light. What do you call your unique skin color? We may use color words to describe people like black and white. And sometimes we say people of color to talk about the groups of people who aren't white. Our world has so many different groups of people, so there are a lot of words to use. There's Black, Indigenous, Asian, White, Arab, Pacific Islander, African American, Latinx, Biracial, and so many more. What groups do you belong to? I am Black or African American, but my sister is biracial. Skin color can't tell you much about what people are like, or what they know, or what foods they think are yummy, or what their favorite books are. It can't even tell you where they were born. Just by looking at someone, we can't tell who they are on the inside. But sometimes people try to anyway. A long time ago, way before you were born, Way before I was born, a group of white people made up an idea called race. They sorted people by skin color, and they said that white people were better. They said that white people were smarter, prettier, and that they deserved more than everybody else. This isn't true or fair at all, but it's a story that has been told for a long time. When people believe this untrue story about race, that is called racism. Racism is also the things people do and the unfair rules they make about race 
so that white people can get more power and so that they are treated better than everybody else. Racism happens a lot in big and small ways. It's all around us, even if we don't always notice it. Racism can be a rule, like if someone says only friends with white skin can play. Racism can also be an idea, like thinking princesses only have blonde hair. They don't. Check out Moana and Jasmine and Tiana. Racism can be a way we've done things for a long time, like how there aren't as many books written about people of color. Racism can also be on purpose, like calling a person of color a mean name because of their skin color. Racism can also be by mistake, like if the same friend always has to play the bad guy on the playground. Racism hurts and is always unfair. That's why it's important to talk about it and do our part to make things better. All the time, even right now, people are working for racial justice by telling the truth and sharing feelings, by treating people the way they want to be treated. Black Lives Matter, protests are progress. Let's speak out by bravely saying, that's not right. By marching in protest, by singing songs that bring us together and by changing unfair rules, teaching, helping, learning and listening. There are a lot of people doing that work and we can do it too. This is a page about continuing the conversation. I'm gonna read the titles and I hope you read the text. Skin color, race-related observations, family diversity, identity terms, stereotypes and prejudice, race, racism, empowerment and activism. The end.